Hi everyone, this is Stryker with the Low Country High Rollers. I just wanted to come up with a couple of videos to post on the Meat Locker Facebook group. For those of you that have been wanting me to set up a portion of practice to talk about skates and pads and maintenance and this, that, and the other, um, it's hard for me to do that because I don't know what level of skaters are going to show up for any given practice and I just don't want to waste our track time with a lot of talking. So I figured it would be better to make a video that way you can go back and look at it, refer to it. So I'm basically going to talk about the anatomy of a skate, then I'm going to talk about wheels specifically because that can be like very overwhelming to some. And then I'm also going to talk about some basic maintenance. Now as you're watching this video I want you to keep this in mind that while everything I say is a lot of fact and some stuff from my personal experience, feedback I've gotten from others, but when it comes to your gear and your wheels and your pads it all ultimately comes down to preference. But that's something that you figure out as time goes on. Um, but right off the beginning these are some very key good things to know when you're first getting into roller right, derby. So anatomy of a skate. So you basically have, we're going to start from the top and work our way down. So you have your boot, which is basically like the shoe part. This is the part where your foot goes inside. So that is called your boot. You have your toe stop, which is pretty self-explanatory. Most people know what a toe stop is, but this is what it looks like. There are different types of ways that the toe stop is secured to the plate, but we'll go into that later. Your plate is basically this part right here. Mine is like a metallic -y purple, as you can see. This is what mounts your wheels and your trucks to your boot. An extension of your plate are your trucks. So the things that are here and here, the axles are attached to your trucks and your wheels are attached to your axles, obviously. So that is like the basic breakdown. Um, you have some hardware too that you wanna keep in mind. You have, I believe, this particular plate has six mounting bolts. Uh, let me see if I can get a good video. So right here, this hardware right here, these are what are actually mounting your plate to your boot. Um, then you have kingpin hardware. Your kingpin is what keeps your trucks attached to your plate. So you have two kingpins and on this little stack here you've got some hardware here then you have this metal plate that holds your bushings or cushions depending on where you're from I call it a bushing because I skateboarded so it's the same thing that a bushing does for a skateboard but a lot of people refer to it as a cushion they are the same thing it you have a cushion here and a cushion here and then you have the truck in between and we'll go into that later as well. Your other hardware you have, you have what are called axle nuts, and they are the nuts that are holding your wheels onto your skate. So that's real basic anatomy. Um, this skate in particular, this is my indoor setup, and I have a toe guard on it. These are actually my first toe guards I ever had, so that's why they are a little like not so new looking. But that's your basic anatomy of a skate. 